Selamat siang. Hello guys, today I'm Kenneth back with another video. I've received the request on my last video, the Ultimate MacBook Pro upgrade, to make a step-by-step -step guide on how to change the 2011 motherboard into the 2012 motherboard. So here it is, and let's get started. Alright, so before we start anything, let me take a second to remind you to do a backup first because what we are gonna do is pretty serious from now on. Also, there is one website that I would encourage you to visit which is ifixit.com. You search for MacBook Pro late 2011. It contains everything you need to know to take apart your MacBook and put it back in one piece. Okay, so first you will need two screwdrivers. One of them is a Torx T6 screwdriver. And also another one is a Phillips 1.5 millimeter screwdriver. You will need these two screwdrivers for the screws inside your Mac. And then we'll need this thermal compound. In my case, I use Arctic MX4, which you will use later to change the heat pipe. This is a 2011 heat pipe. And uh, this is the old heat pipe and you will change it with a new one and we will see that new one later. It's the copper plate is a bit bigger and we'll see that later, yeah. And then this scissor will be used to trim the sides of the display connector too and a few other tools to help you in the process. So that's it. So first you have to grab your Phillips screwdriver and remove all the 10 screws below your Mac. These screws are kind of different, uh, which I color coded on the video, uh, so make sure to separate them properly. And then after you finished removing all the screws, just use your finger and open the lid from the top like this. Next we're gonna remove the battery connector first and foremost to keep everything safe from short circuiting. Then next we're gonna remove the fan connector, which is there. To remove it, we just flick it upwards like this. Next, radio your torque screwdriver as we're gonna remove the fan screws. Please note that the orange one, as I noted in the video, has longer screw than the other two. So make sure to keep that in the right place. So once you're done removing the fan, put that aside. And let's go ahead and remove all these connectors. This first one is just you pull it upwards like that and then this other one do not pull it upwards but instead pull it to the side it's plugging in from and the rest is just like lego pieces you just pry it upwards like that and this one is that you have to release the lock first and then pull the ribbon like that it's the same for this other small one this okay and this other one is more like lego and this the last one is the display connector first you release the lock out of the connector and then just pull it away now let's prepare the torque screwdriver again to remove all the screws on the motherboard note that these colors that i put in the video shows that these screws are not the same so make sure to separate them properly. Now we're moving back to Philips screwdriver. We see the top right portion here below the display connector. You've got these two screws which are again not the same size. So remove those two and separate those properly and also remove this thing over here. And the next step before removing the motherboard is this small microphone here. In my case, I wasn't able to remove the microphone out of its place because it's glued too tightly. So we'll remove that after we remove the motherboard. So here it is and the connector is over here. You've got to remove that by prying that upwards and then also the cable management over the sides of the speaker, you've got to remove that. You've now released your motherboard from your Mac. Good job! Now this one is the new 2012 motherboard and this motherboard when transferring from the old one you got to transfer the speaker and then the RAM. And note this heat pipe over here. This is the new heat pipe 
which you will install later to your motherboard and uh, the old one from your old motherboard you'll just keep it we don't use that anymore so we'll have to prepare this new heat pipe and the thermal compound we're going to use it now so this is the old heat pipe that you are going to find on your old motherboard it has the same mounting point but the heat pipe curves are not the same so you're going to need the new 2012 heat pipe for the 2012 motherboard and to remove the heat pipe make sure you support the motherboard with your hand and just unscrew them like this and that's you can remove the heat pipe now so here it is the difference between the new and the old heat pipe the new heat pipe has a bigger copper plate and a more curved heat pipe itself and then so we clean the thermal compound now we just rub them off easily with a tissue paper and after the heat pipe is clean we are cleaning the CPU now next get the thermal compound and put ever so slightly bean sized thermal compound on top of your CPU just like this probably this will work okay and after that align the heat pipe on top of your CPU carefully you'll have to put equal pressure on all of the three screw points so the way to do that is you put this one two you screw this one again just two turns one two and then screw the other the last one one two like that and then after that you just cycle through them with two turns of your screwdriver like that one two and after that just keep doing that until it's tight but be careful to not over tighten them or else you're screwed <laughs> next I was finally able to remove my microphone from my chassis even though I break the glue so if you manage to remove the microphone you don't need to do this but here's how you clip that end of the microphone to your motherboard and then just put the cable back along the lines of the speaker and then we are ready to put this motherboard back into its chassis make sure all cables are not covered by the motherboard and then after that clip those connectors back into place so yeah for these two connectors you just slide them inside and then clip the lock mechanism with your finger not like this because it will break but like that all right so we are almost done get this small thing over here and the longer screw put that on the left side like this and then we put them onto the upper right corner over here put the longer on the left side and the shorter one on the right side Then we've got these two screws of the Mac safe connector also screw them with the Torx screwdriver then also still the same with the Torx screwdriver put in the rest of the screws of the motherboard notice the color codes and put them right according to them after you put them all the rest is just this fan over here put the connector into place just press it like this okay and then the longer screws should get into the orange one the upper part and the other screws just get into the lower part and finally we get into this display connector the display connector you need to trim the sides off a bit I trimmed mine here so yours should look like this anyways after you trim that display connector should go inside the connector on the motherboard so all you need to do is just apply force and then do this thing after the plastic bit come off a bit you can plug it in and make sure to click this into its place to secure the connection so the last step is to put these connectors onto its place to the motherboard and also this other one like this and then make sure everything is connected 
and every screw is already in place. If it's good, then we're going to connect the battery connector. Like this. And it's done. Time to put back the cover. There are three types of screw. The first one is the long screw which you put on the three points on the top right corner. And then the shouldered screws which you put along the bottom. Here. And then the regular screws as you put on these points. Once everything is done, get up and walk around because I know you've been sitting for a long time. Turn on your computer. Check if your computer has been upgraded to Intel HD 4000. If everything goes right, you can check it by clicking the Apple logo on the top left and then click on the About Mac. And on the graphics tab, you can see there is Intel HD 4000 there and hope this helps. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and give it a thumbs down if you don't like it. Uh, leave a comment down below if you've got anything to ask or anything that I can improve on. I'm Kenneth and I'll see you guys in the next video.